Hey everybody, it's time for lettuce, lettuce, lettuce. Lettuce, lettuce, lettuce. Here on the Camo Dave channel for August 1, 2019. Join me, shall you? Try and pick some new writers. You always pick the same one. I know. Trey Bean Town. Trey Bean Town. Too much. We have too much Trey Bean Town. Right. No more Trey Bean Town in the letters. Trey, by order of the Doxinator. We want more Tex Texico. <laughs> Boom, bubble, bust, repeat. I have always been confused about Jimmy the Hobo. He had grown his channel quite a bit, but acts so confused about what to do, how to make it, how to make a living. Uh, do, do YouTube and be consistent. Milk the money cow while it's still there. Well, you know, he originally did his, his channel was him living in his car, you know, in the driveway or the street. And then he did, oh, I don't know, he's been on so many different types of channels. He did a Bitcoin channel. He did a channel where he was, uh, you know, going to bars and stuff. He did a channel Hulu. Cambodia. Huh? Cambodia. Oh yeah, right. Cambodia. He's going to Cambodia. I think he's taking Black Bigot with him. That's right. And then he did, um, and then he did, oh, you know, he did all oh, the, the um, Uber driver. He was an Uber driver for a while. And then he, I think they didn't like that. And then, I don't know, he's you know out in California now with the back pain. I don't know, his channel is and always has been all over the place. Falusa EV, gosh, we now need a Camo Dave condensed channel so we don't have to sit through 15 minutes of S videos of uninteresting Camo Dave reviews. What? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, now we got an audio message from somebody. Can anyone guess who it's from? I'll kick so much butt. Just thought I'd show you. Creeper out for now. Crutchy pants. Whoa. All right. Is that the creeper? What would you say? Oh, uh, uh, my doxinator there in the other room just made a comment about the creeper, but he doesn't want to repeat it. The Lug Doug says he wants uh, donations from the internet family. We are close personal friends because you watch my chat, my scripted videos, and you know me so well. I would never lie to get free money from people I will never meet in real life. You can trust me. To which, okay, we're going to use it. Trey Beantown writes, Chug a Lug Doug, I trust you, buddy. I'm an 80 year old senior citizen who has a bad back, bad knees, bad everything, uh, but I know. Uh, the small amount of money I receive each month should be donated to your Patreon. Friends like you are so hard to come by these days. <laughs> and Copeland says, I want to see Camo Dave and the Carpet Bagger in a wrestling match. Oh, no. You know you don't. <laughs> be in Athens. I'm afraid of snakes on the trail, too. But it doesn't stop me from going. It was nice to see how far away she was from that rattlesnake when she heard it. It gave her plenty of notice. I was afraid they'd rattle only when you were about to step on them and they might reach you as uh, it might reach you as you retreated. Yeah, that is true. But I think as long as you stay on a trail, the snakes kind of know that that's where people are and you're probably OK. It's when you go off the trail and you're walking around and they always say be real careful around like logs fallen logs and stuff because that's where they make their homes and if you just suddenly pull a log up that's off the trail wham wham Beaver Brad is talking about the uh, camper van Kevin there he was uh, he saw um, he saw uh, someone in a class A with a bad tire and was kind of was worried that they might go out on the road and have an accident or something. And Caver Brad writes, uh, quote, you better fix that tire. I'm going to rat you out to the camp host, unquote. That's, I guess, what CVK said. I had a flashback of Mayberry RFD and Gomer yelling, Citizens are riot! <laughs> Ow, we got a uh, comment from Nomad for Nature, which we uh, featured on our show last night or this morning. Thanks for the mention. I need all the help I can get. My no drama channel doesn't seem to get as much. LOL. A nomad for nature. Check him out. A Brock writes, uh, Dave, hope you were kidding. That was a porcupine. Yeah, it wasn't a rat. That's right. But it looked kind of like a rat in the dark. It was a porcupine. But ew, that'd still be pretty creepy. There's a message for Clearsky. 
Got a gummo gummo dude writes. Can you get any more obscure than Mr. Ed's neighbor? <laughs> yeah, I, I I'm used to watch that show as a kid all the time, and I had to really strain my brain to remember that character, but I do now. Ali Jean TSM, aka Barbie. Safe travels, Dave, to the Doxinators. Give my love to him. She loves you. Uh, and uh, Jillian Champ. Hi, Barbie. I want footage of you doing the dishes. <laughs> but no, but here's Jilly, the adorable French bulldog. You like Dave? Oh, yeah. Don't you? Yes. I have to pay a licensing fee every time I show more than 30 seconds of Jilly. 28, 29. That she wants to see a footage of the dogs. They love squeaky toys. They should have a little cardboard sign on the neck saying, Send me toys! <laughs> There's Champ. That's right. Somebody sent me, uh, oh, a Paul, was it, who sent me, hey, how you doing? Yeah. Uh, Paul sent me some, uh, with the $1 gifts from Amazon, he sent me some uh, cat food, which I brought because the dogs apparently love cat food, so uh, they're going to fight over it. Billy Down Under, he said he was the first viewer of my morning video this morning. Billy TV 2.0. Oh, yeah. YouTube trailer park. Hopefully the Doxinator's dogs will rip up that annoying puppet to shreds. Fingers crossed. YouTube trailer park. That was so mean. That was terribly mean. No. Look. Jilly loves me. Jilly loves me. Ah. Oh. Oh. Oh, she bit my nose.